Welcome to Old Madras Motorcycles, that Old Madras Motorcycles new video. Before going to the main video, let's just check a hand kick. And you know, hand kick videos are really trending these days. But I won't promote or advise hand kick on old bullets because it's really threatening and it can cause you serious injuries if the bike is not properly tuned or the timing is a little bit uh, wrong. In this bike right now the points are not that good it is a little bit misplaced I need some adjustments on the points and the carburetor but still I'm doing with little bit slow speed adjustment so that uh, the bike starts pretty good so let's see how it's done and before that if you are an old motorcycle enthusiast just subscribe our channel and we will upload more videos on old British motorcycles, restoration and other parts. So stay tuned. Now if you are going to try for the hand kick, you just start the bike, keep the compression down, make this clear and you uh, change the uh, slow speed a little bit more so that the hand kick will be safe and definitely this will help you for your hand kick video. So that's Old Madras Motorcycle Workshop and this is our new project that's a 53 matchless G3 LS and this project is lagging past two years and today's video we are going to see how different Royal Enfield silencers work on the bike and I'm going to try three different silencers in the bullet and let's see how it sounds and how the exhaust notes are and how they are different whether they are loud or whether they are silent so here i'm with the three silencers that we are going to test today so this is one is the aj's matchless silencer that i'm going to fit onto this bike it's a very original one that needs some great work to get it back to the old glory and the second one is a the madras quality make silencer that's an old stock uh, that's an aftermarket product and uh, luckily I got it two through two to three years back and it is working one you can see the Madras stamp over it that's it and finally this one is the original made in England silencer it's pretty rare and with much effort I've uh, I've passed it and I've re-chromed it and the filters are good it is, the filters are uh, in a different shape and in a different design that gives this silencer a quality beat and you can see the shape also this it is very well different from the the typical Indian silencers this one is smaller in diameter this one is bigger and also comparing with length that is coming this much long and the fixings are also different this need to be hooked with the bolt and here one uh, clamp is coming to fit it into the exhaust pipe so that's it but this is heavier Indian one is really a heavy silencer and comparing this one it is not that much heavy coming to the filter designs both the Indian and England silencer it is totally different actually I don't have a proper design sketch of the two silencers I have some photographs taken from the inlet and exhaust side 
Just have a look at that. This is the common filter that we see in the exhaust these days, the Madras make or the Indian make. And this is the net type filter that is coming in the England make silencer. And maybe that is the reason why the exhaust is a little bit silent and the strokes are a little bit gentle. I am always keen about collecting the original parts for my motorcycles that I restore. And coming to the silencer part, I won't leave uh, if any original silencer shows up in the market. This one is the one that I recently got that is in bad shape but soon I will be restoring this one and fitting on this bike. But sure, this is a real happiness, you know, to ride the bike with the original exhaust that is some 70 or of a 60 years old and you're still keeping the original thumping silencer and that is the that is something uh, worthy that we can say about the motorcycle the same way Royal Enfield is known for its thump it's 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 exhaust it's uh, it's what is that uh, the beat that gives that is uh, I have no words for this people fall in love with the exhaust note of the Royal Enfield and the silencers that we we get uh, in the market these days are really loud the the indoor silencers and the other silencers that we are getting in the market they are too loud for the old motorcycles because old motorcycles exhaust were not that loud and this one is such a silencer that I have restored recently with much patience and uh, it was in bad shape but I had to uh, uh, re-weld the filter so I have made a hole over here and that is not visible from the front part but I cleanly patched the silencer filter from the back side and uh, re-chromed it. Now you can see the finishing how it is. So let's see how the silencers work, how the different silencers sound. So I have installed one app called Sound Meter from the Play Store and let's see how different the sounds are you can see the modulations so that's it so with this we can check different silencer sounds how much they are loud and how much they are silent we can clearly get from this Timing is not correct in this bike right now. The point is a little bit misplaced and it needs uh, once again retuning and still we'll give a check how it works. So I'm going to start it once more. You can adjust it a little bit. So You can see this, you can see the difference. So not more than 80. But sometimes it's touching 83 or 82 like that. So this is the silencer fitted in this bike past 2-3 uh, years. This is pretty good. It is giving the standard beat for the original old bikes, old bullets. Means it's not that loud, but uh, it is loud to a standard bit. So, oh, I, I, I'm using this for past two or three years, and uh, this is the only silencer in the market that is pretty good for the G2 or B1 models. I think it's my personal experience. If you have got any other models you just uh, let me know in the comment box so that that will be useful for the old old bullet users now let's fit in the matchless uh, original silencer and see how it is working on a royal enfield bullet
the sounding almost like a bullet it's pretty decent beat Yes, it's almost same to that of the original Madras silencer. In future, if I'm going to open the silencer for restoration, definitely I'm going to learn how the filter is made and I'm going to put that filter into the Royal Enfield aftermarket silencer. I think that will work good because this is giving a perfect beat and it's pretty silent it sounds great now let's check out the sound of the original made in England silencer how it is different from the other two silencers or whether they are all same in the exhaust category let's see how it is We have fitted a original English silencer on it, the silencer that came for G2 models. You can see the shape is totally different from all the angles, it's pretty long and yes it is a little bit silent but let's check with the audiometer. This silencer is not crossing 80 at the limit and comparing to the other two silencers this is a little bit silent and uh, the beat is pretty good and um, not that loud but still it's giving the good ambience of a vintage motorcycle. This is also a restored one, it was in bad shape and I completely cleaned the filter and did some weldings and re the silencer. Now it's working pretty good. This is, a, this is an imported one and this is fitted on the 50s or 90s, 60s bullets and you know the shape is completely different. The fixing is done with a, with a ring clamp and uh, it is a little bit longer and uh, the diameter is less comparing to the Indian bullet silencers that we see these days in the market. And this is definitely an asset and it gives a real thumb, the original thumb. And it's a thumb that matters a lot.